Are you tired of your business or career not going fast enough? Not earning enough money? Not following the path of progression and goals that you originally envisioned and it's frustrating? Hi, John Kirk here, your As Seen on TV guy and online mentor to introduce the power and value of having a mentor. Now, I wanna say that in my career, I've seen a ton of success, I've been really blessed, and I wanna say that all of it has been attributed to great mentors who inspired me, took me under their wing, and taught me what they knew. You know, the, the, the years of knowledge of their trial and error and their falling on their face experience that has saved me so much time and allowed me to get into success right away, which was very inspiring. And it's interesting because, you know, a lot of times in business right now, it's copy, 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 right? But even Michael Jordan, the best basketball player of all times, he had to learn from somebody and copy their style before really going out and developing his style. So today I certainly have my own style, but I've had so many mentors. So first off, I wanna talk about your business or career choice. It's very important, I believe, to to sit back and to have a very good view of what's out there, right? And understand what it is really that you want and what you're passionate about and what's going to inspire you to get great. So for me, um, originally as a young man growing up with a single mom and seeing her work six days a week, I really determined that I was gonna grow up and live a lifestyle of my design. And really what that meant is um, the least time and the most reward for my efforts, right? I wanted to monetarily be successful. So when I, when I first got started in the workforce, you know, I was 14, 15 years old, working for a friend of mine's dad as, as an apprentice, a heavy duty mechanics apprentice, and I thought, this is great. I'm gonna work like crazy, and I'm going to study, and I'm going to learn how to invest in the stock market. And that's exactly what I did. And that's my mom's work ethic. I really just wanted to apply that. And until, you know, I started seeing what my dad was doing for a living. He was a pitch man, he was a sales guy, and he made phenomenal money, and he really had a fun life uh, in, in his career. So um, I was talking about that with a friend of mine. He says, oh yeah, my cousin makes 100 grand a month as a sales guy. And I said, nobody makes 100 grand a month as a sales guy. And he said it was true. And his mother uh, collaborated that and said, no, I I'm gonna introduce you to him. So I went out and met this fella and sure enough, 21 years old, 100 grand a month, driving a Lamborghini Diablo in my little town of all places, right? And you know, he, he offered me a job to come in and to run his office, uh, which I did. And I really enjoyed doing that and seeing the kind of revenues he was making. And it was, it was mind boggling for me. But he took me under his wing and I built a great business. When I was 18, I didn't go to university. I went out to Italy to, to build out my business in that area, and it was fantastic. And you know, years later when I came home, my friends were making fortunes in the stock market, and I said, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and take my securities course, and I did. And again, in my little town, uh, a very good friend of mine who just had an amazing family. I've always heard about their father and he, he had a public company on the NASDAQ and, and it was super successful. And when I had determined I'm, gonna, I'm going to get involved in the stock market, then the rumors spread and, and my friend's mom said, hey, you should talk to my husband and I did. And he took me under his wing and it was an entirely different world. You know, I was wearing a suit every day, working from six to six, six days a week. And this fella was as organized as they come. There was daily reports, there were team meetings, it was agenda, conference calls, it was it was fantastic, right? And, and I was young and I just snapped right into it, right? The fear of loss, I saw what the opportunity was for me and, and, and I took it. And, and then finally, when the markets got choppy, my father and his boss had just discovered a product and they did phenomenal revenues and they were expanding very quickly and they invited me to join their company, uh, get me a working visa for the United States and I committed to the company. And here I am in Honolulu selling this new product, making a thousand bucks a day, feeling like a rock star. And it was lots and lots of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed that business a lot. And, and you know, 
this new mentor, you know, my father, who is, you know, as charming as they come, he's great. And his boss, who it was a different level of charming, you know, he was uh, darling this and good golly, good gracious that. And um, he just had a, he was a pitch man. If you ever seen a pitch man at a country fair or even as seen on TV, you'll know they don't come much more charming than the pitch man. So I really learned that and, and it was a big family and I, I really enjoyed it. And I was able to bring my experience from my f former two mentors to this business and eventually go off my own and, and built my business. So like Michael Jordan, I had uh, learned from somebody and then I developed my style. Certainly not Michael, level, uh, Michael Jordan level uh, and probably never ever will be, but um, I have developed my own style that certainly works for me and it's, it's great. So to summarize, you know, for me, the, the careers that I wanted to venture into, I, I was fortunate enough to get fantastic mentors. And, and coincidentally, they, they seemed to find me. And what I mean is, I put it out there. I let people know I was interested in sales. And voila, my friend introduces me to his cousin who was phenomenal. Um, I, I, I put it out there that I was, I was determined to get involved in the stock market, and I was. And sure enough, uh, a good friend of mine and his family introduced me to their dad, who is top of the food chain in this space. And um, and, and then um, I knew, I was always interested in importing and exporting, and I was interested in developing products. And I really liked people, I wanted to get away from that computer screen. And when I literally got to spend time with my dad and, and, and the pitch people in the industry, it was amazing, it really was. So anyways, I think that once you determine what it is that you're gonna do, right, uh, in this, in your particular career or whatever you're passionate about, um, it's good to get out there and learn from somebody, right? You gotta give in order to get, you know, we always hear that. So let's say, for example, that you weren't gonna go the career path and you weren't gonna go to work for somebody and you just wanted to find a mentor. People want to give, right? For me, I've seen a lot of success I want to give, right? I was rearing up my son to get into the industry and with COVID, he's gone off to a new industry where he's got a, you know, a great career and future ahead of him. So it leaves me wanting to find somebody to mentor. And I, um, and I've been doing that recently with some people. But my point is, is that if there is somebody in your space um, that you're looking to get mentorship with, uh, I'll just give you three quick points to pursue them. Number one is getting prepared to to pursue this mentor get onto the internet get onto youtube videos get onto their podcast get onto their facebook page and instagram follow them and see what it is that they're doing okay and and, and understand the space that they're in read your books uh, listen to your ebooks um, podcasts, like I say, YouTube videos, and become a, an expert in this space. So you're not wet behind the ears and brand spanking new, just kind of showing them up, showing up with a uh, um, with a blank look on your face. You want to be knowledgeable and passionate about something, and um, and, and that's it. Secondly, when you're pursuing um, a mentor, I, I always have the envision of the movie Wall Street, where Michael Douglas's character is this Wall Street wizard, uh, Gordon Gecko, right? And he's, you know, on a penthouse suite of some amazing Wall Street uh, building and he's untouchable. And there's this new broker, Charlie Sheen's character, um, Bud Fox, who is trying to land this whale, so to speak, right? So he's trying to get this major investor to to come on board his um, uh, as his client because he's a broker. So he's calling him, he's sending him Cuban cigars on his birthday, which he can't get in the United States, but his dad works for the airlines, so he's got an in. And every birthday he's given that, and finally, Gordon Gecko invites him in and to deliver the cigars personally and says, kid, there's gotta be a picture of your face in the dictionary under persistence, right? And, and I think that everybody um, who is successful they kind of want to be Gordon Gecko. They want to, you know, have somebody pursue them, pursue them, pursue them. So, so when it comes to pursuing a mentor, certainly be knowledgeable, but follow them, follow their pages, uh, like their stuff, comment on it. If you have any synergies or, or certain things that you have that you resonate with together, right? Maybe it's a cause, maybe it's a, a movement that you're you're involved together. Give to get. So. 
try to offer some sort of help that you can do for them um, and and um, participate in what it is that they're doing. You're building that rapport. If they have any conferences or seminars, certainly attend those, read their books, um, follow their videos. And, and, and when, when you are um, a little bit more warm, then you can actually get ahead and send them, go ahead and send them a message saying that you'd like to buy them coffee. Let them know why, right? Let them know that you're passionate about this space and you really respect what it is that they do. You got to compliment them. Let them know what, why you're meeting and, and ask if you could meet with them to talk about that. And ultimately you want to have a mentor, right? And you can mention that when you meet with them, right? I'd always wanted a mentor and, and you are someone I look up to and respect. And, and again, people love to be complimented, but there's something magic when you have a rapport with somebody, a little bit of a rapport, and you ask for help. There's something magic in asking for help. And, you know, in my business career, I've done it so many times. I feel guilty sometimes doing it because people want to help and they'll help you. Um, and that's okay, as long as you reciprocate and repay the favor in the future, right? So, um, so that's how you land a meeting with them. And then once you have that rapport, you might want to, you know, invite them to go for a hike, to go for a bike ride, to go skiing, to go to the gym, little things like that, right? Because if you can, if you can say, invite them to a concert or, or, or something like that, or you and your wife and them and their wife, you invite them out somewhere. Um, now you, you're developing a rapport on a personal level and and that way you become more endearing and they want to help you they see what that you're actually passionate about something and they want to get in there and support that they'll open doors and introduce you to people and they'll help to support whatever it is you're doing so finally once you do have a mentor you need to understand not everybody has been to mentor school so they're not going to have a big list of things to do and set goals this and start off this way so you're going to have to be patient and realize that it's simply, hey, you know, I'm trying to do this and I'm struggling with it. Can you help me out? Yes. And you're going to get it that way, right? Little bits here and there. And eventually, um, if it's possible and you do have a business and it's growing, maybe you can invite them on your advisory board of directors. So they actually get compensated for what it is they're doing a little bit at least. And there's something more formal. So now they can bring their skill set and their knowledge and, and literally apply it because they're in an official sort of role to apply it, right? So that's all I have to say about mentorship um, other than the fact that is it is indeed worth its weight in gold um, for you and your career and your business for getting to where you want to go. You're hitting these uh, false starts or these roadblocks and you don't know what to do. You call up your mentor who's actually your friend, right? And they're going to tell you, oh, yeah, I've done that. That's happening before. Here's what you need to do. And they'll help to navigate through there. So anyways, make it a profitable year and get great at what it is you do. All the best.